Hi, in this video we're going through how to get gold in the GTA 5 mission, Exercising Demons, with Franklin. Hi and welcome back, my name's Dan and I'm an old, grumpy gamer. Grand Theft Auto is a truly massive game. Between GTA 5 and the constant updates from Rockstar for GTA Online, there's no shortage of new content and interesting things to do. Join me then in our continuing series, Getting Gold in Every Damn Mission in GTA 5, as we look at Franklin's variation on the Grand Theft Auto mission, Exercising Demons. Before we dive in, if you're new to the channel, we do how-to guides, news, and giveaways, so consider subscribing and ringing the bell to stay up to date. Getting gold in this one's pretty straightforward, but you should be sure to have maxed Franklin's stamina before starting, otherwise there's no point to get going. You'll find a guide on how to max stamina linked below, and of course up on the top right there, that's for GTA solo players, but it works just as well in GTA 5. To get gold in this one, we'll simply need to win the race. Right, so let's pick it up as we start the race. So we we'll absolutely sprint to the water there. And as soon as we can, we want to take a uh, take a quick dive because swimming underwater is much, much quicker than swimming on the surface. So you can see there, Franklin's pretty much at full lung capacity, so we can spend most of the time underwater, and Marianne is already falling behind, which is good because we'll need that in the cycling leg quick up for air and start swimming again let's see if we can get a quick dive back in no doesn't look like it okay so we're swimming across the surface now so just absolutely flat out across the surface surface keep mashing that button and we can see there the mountain bikes are ready to go out of the water onto the mountain bike and off we go quick sprint to get rolling And then just regular cycling, so or switching between regular cycling and sprinting, so Franklin gets a chance to recover some stamina because we will catch up on the last little bit. All right, don't forget that bunny hop as well. And controls are on screen for that one now if you need it. It's um, handy as you go over bumps to just get a bit of air and get a little bit of extra pace. Here we go. Okay, now what we need to do here is, as we're coming up to the bridge, is just sprint as hard as you can to get over the bridge. Here we go. Oh, squeaked it in. And now absolutely flat out to catch up because I lost some time there, so that wasn't great, but that's okay, we'll still, uh, still knock it out at the end. All right, so we've got the final checkpoint and then the next leg coming up. So just go absolutely flat knacker here. There's the finish line. Off the bike and run. Now, Franklin is just about out of stamina here, so I am alternating between sprinting and just regular jogging or running. As long as Marianne stays behind, then we're all good. She is falling a bit behind now. So, tried jumping, but yeah, that didn't speed anything up. All right, Marianne is well behind now, so we can take a little easy, but definitely do not want to get too relaxed. Round to the left, this one can get a little bit hidden, and then there we go. Absolutely stormed it in, and Franklin looks shattered. And that's gold. So, got the champion in the triathlon, so very, very happy with that. Marianne's off. We're left in the middle of the sticks with absolutely no way to get anywhere, but that's okay. We have one. So, ooh, there's a beach party as well, so that's lovely. So, what are your thoughts? Do you have any tips for other viewers, or could this have been done differently? Leave your comments down below and check out the video on the left for Trevor's encounter with Mary Ann Quinn or the one on the right for some more old grumpy gamer goodness. Stay safe, wash your hands, and we'll see you in the next video.